Um, hello everyone, my name is Dr. Asma and I am a specialty uh, registrar in clinical neurophysiology and today I will discuss about uh, my field of uh, specialty and though I have a background of pediatrics but I will come to it later what made me decide to come into this field. So clinical neurophysiology it is an allied specialty of neurology and neurosciences and it is a diagnostic specialty just to make it more simple it is just as diagnostic as pathology and radiology as we all know but the exciting and attractive bit is that it is not a table job and it's not a laboratory job it's not as dry as research work of neurosciences and it is not as draining though exciting as well as an itu doctor as well so um Coming to what the training is like, so in the UK you have to have your two years of foundation program training and then your three years of either surgical, medical or pediatric training uh, which is level one ST3 level and then you make your application to come into the clinical neurophysiology. It's a four year training program where you start as ST3 and you finish at, as ST6. So um, in this uh, training the the basic uh, uh, studies that you will um, get experience and um, expertise is EEGs, EMGs and nerve conduction. There are other um, uh, um, there are other investigations which are more related to them which basically obey the same principle like visual ev evoked potentials and SSEPs and intraoperative monitoring and these I won't go into the details of those procedures but um, the core um, nature of this training is to make you qualified for these electrodiagnostic studies. So because you are a, a diagnostic, you are working in a diagnostic field, it's not solely your responsibility to manage only the patient. You're just answering a part of the puzzle. You're just answering the question you are asked and you're just describing what the findings are for your test. And you're helping the other colleagues to come up with their management and their diagnosis. So it's, it's um, as um, uh, easy it sounds, it is, uh, on the contrary, it is, um, you know, very hard to get trained and to get actually to the detail of experience uh, which is actually needed to interpret these studies. So I think it's a lot of hard work and a lot of commitment. It's a lot of research, academic and reading based um, training uh, and your experience definitely improves your understanding. So um, how is it to work as a neurophysiology registrar? So it is a hospital-based specialty, so you work from nine to five. Though it is per se nine to five, but it is, it is really on, on, your, um, on your own uh, you know, um, uh, ability of how, you, how much you can push yourself to learn more because uh, you will be working with extremely in, you know, intellectual and um, a highly qualified team of professors and the consultant who are dual trained, who are neurophysiologists as well as physiologists and in the centers which are pioneering new surgeries and new interventions, even, you know, if you just think of uh, epilepsy surgery. So um, when you're working with that um, uh, academic and uh, that impassionate and academic team, you would feel probably compelled to, st to stay longer and get your head round of what you're reading and what your abilities are. So it's a continuous process of read reading and learning and experiencing and, you know, getting to, to know your, um, ex your, your studies even better. So um, that's how, you know, I, I, I got distracted of what it demands, but basically it is a nine to five uh, job and then uh, you you have on calls which are usually in most of the centers it is nine to five on, on over the weekends so if there is a really um, needed study especially the EEGs they will call you and then uh, the physiologists who have the neurosciences technical background they will come and do the study and then you will come um, later on to interpret the study and give them the result definitely every study has to be signed off by the consultant either they are on site or they are working remotely because if it is all the studies are being uploaded on the system, it, there is a possibility that the consultants can report re re remotely. So um, this is how the on-call work and this is what majorly the core of the training is about. So um, 
generally i feel it's it's a very um uh, interesting specialty uh, it's it's a lot of hard work it's a lot of study orientated and your your aims and your targets are very high when you work with such dynamic and clinically you know expert teams uh, now coming to uh, what made me uh, choose this specialty um basically as a as a pediatric doctor when i joined the uh, the nhs and started working on calls and everything um though i enjoyed every bit of it every bit of excitement of getting a sick child and making all the necessary arrangement to make them better or either transfer them out um i think um in that grind i just felt that it was so exhausting that finding time to improve in terms of your reading in terms of your knowledge of more evidence based and more recent advances in in any in any condition was really very limited because it it came down to you being so tired that you are just combating every every day you know day to day call uh and then um as a pediatric is a run through training until st 5 uh, and st 6 you're not exactly sure if you will be able to get into sub specialty that was even more challenging and when you join late as st 3 or st 4 then you have already missed that years of uh, giving your portfolio that direction so uh, i think all those factors and clinically draining and exhausting uh, job and not much to learn when you feel that you're already reached a plateau of of your practice uh, was uh, you know an of of um a factor that in you know uh, which intrigued me to look into other options and having a neurology mindset i always was interested that if i will be able to continue um uh, uh, practicing my interest so this field has really i've i've been really lucky to um actually think about this field and actually to get uh, into the training and i really feel that um this this niche and this ever growing specialty has given me all of the factors which can make uh, make make a better training a better doctor and at the end better work life balance um also in the end i will talk about um how the salary works in the in the training as well as when you are a consultant so definitely as i've spoken spoken about that it is a 9 to 5 job and they are not and we don't do the resident on calls on nights which gives uh, uh, which makes you lose the banding so any st registrar who is in the other specialty with on calls and uh, nights and out of hours work will have a better banding than you so you you will more or less come down to your basics and then it is reflected in in as when you become a consultant as well so um, it could be a bit variable between the trust but moreover i think when you are uh, just a neurophysiology consultant it will have a difference in salary as compared to when you're uh, in on the ground neurology or other field consultant so uh, but um, to be honest you cannot put a price tag on on the way of life and on on the training it um and the uh, competencies it gives you so um that was really the details about what the training included how the uh, how every day works and what made me choose this specialty and i hope this uh, video um uh, you found information you needed and it will encourage the young doctors to um to think about the specialty and um uh, and find your um you know perfect choice uh, for uh, the training uh, thank you very much and thank you bye